Hello everyone, this is Shiraz from Integration IT and today I will take you guys a little bit away from Avaya uh, since I have been working with open source Asterix PBX Elastics and I have done pretty number of projects with Elastix PBX including the Yalink IP forms collaborating with the Yalink forms so I thought uh, I should it it's a good time to to start recording tutorials on Asterix Elastix PBX and share so far experience and the knowledge I have gained from my projects and so I'll take you guys from the very scratch level uh, and that is the installation so yes and I will show you how quick and easy it is to install Elastix PBX so uh, let me quickly take you to the point uh, and yeah this tutorial or this installation will be done on the virtual machine and as you can see I have the VM virtual box manager which you can install or you can download from this website www.virtualbox.org and this is the first thing you should have in your workstation or in your laptop and secondly what you need to do is you need to download your uh, Elastic's uh, ISO image which you can quickly grab from the elastic.org and I will just tell you guys you click on English and then you just go down uh, click on downloads and click on in, uh, download Elastic 4.0 stable so this is the latest stable version Elastic have uh, I already have my my image file the ISO file so I'm not gonna download it again so this is just to show you guys from where you can download the Elastics so just cancel it and minimize it so first thing first we need to create a virtual machine on which we gonna install our uh, Elastix uh, PBX so Elastix basically is built on CentOS 7 the Linux operating system so once you are ready with all the ISO file and the VM machine uh, the VM virtual box manager you click on new so this is where we gonna create the new virtual machine so we'll just give a random name or whatever you like Elastix 4 we'll just we will collect the Linux and then since it does not have centers here so don't worry about don't worry about it so just click other Linux next and since it's a it's a demo machine so I will give a 2 GB RAM you can give it more you can give it less doesn't matter you can since it is a it's a practice machine or a lab machine but if it is a production then yes you need to you know you need to provide minimum 4 GB uh, click next and then we will say we'll just keep the default default value create just say next we'll just keep it default value next and I will just give like 25 5 GB which is which should be enough click create okay uh, so after creating the virtual machine two things we need to configure here we need to do the uh, modifications here so right click on it say settings so first thing we need to make sure that we are connected to the right bridge network uh, since I'm on wireless so I'm gonna connect to my wireless bridge network and the second thing is uh, connecting or uploading the ISO image the elastic which we recently or earlier we downloaded as you can see it's elastics.iso file so 
click on live CD and click OK. So our machine is ready to do the installation. We have we have connected the ISO image, we have connected the bridge network, so we should be good to go. So let's begin. This is where we are. Uh, let me show me. Okay, so it's one option is install and one option is troubleshooting. So what we're gonna select is installing the elastic. Uh, so as you can see, it's it has started the pro process. Of ISO image loading the ISO image and we should see some some interface all right so this is pretty different from from earlier version of Elastic Elastic's installation. Since I mean it is on the CentOS 7, that's why it's different. So first thing first, you need to you know you need to set your uh, the US time or wherever you are located in. You just need to select the time, and then I will I'll just leave it default. It says done. And then you need to go to keyboard. You just click the US, or if you if you like any other language, you can add. For for me, it is just the US. Done. And installation destination, it is asking me to provide the. Oh, sorry. Just select the hard drive. And say done. And just to confirm okay what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna give a static IP I'll just click configure and I will go to general oh sorry IP settings I will say uh, manual so I'm gonna quickly give an IP And 24, this is going to be my gateway. And this is going to be my DNS. Dot one dot one. And save. And just to bear in mind, this is where you need to configure your host name. So I'll say integration IT elastics. Or you can keep it as integration IT just for the reference uh, click done and as you can see we have no exp uh, we have no alarms or uh, or any any other sign so i believe we are good for the begin the installation so click on it you will configure the root password make sure you have a very strong root password to keep your machine or to keep your elastic safe click done and if you wish you can create more users for me I'm not gonna do that I'll just leave it as it is and it has begun the installation and I will just pause for some time uh, because this will go as it is and I will come back in between again okay it is still going on and it is almost nearby almost near to to finalize the installation so this is uh, I will do more videos as after this after this one like how do you can register your phones how you can build your auto attendant how you can do some advanced level of configuration on 
PBX or how you can utilize or you can sell the services as a PBX engineer. Uh, this is good for the people who, who wants to sell or who wants to learn the Elastix PBX and you can learn a lot of stuff over here. Okay, we are back and this is what happened in between. It rebooted one time and now it is asking me to set up the SQL, MySQL password, uh, root password. Uh, so just uh, write down somewhere and do not forget the password. Okay, sorry for that. You can pick any password you want. Confirmed. And now it should ask me for the login password. Yeah, this is the the GUI, the the web interface login password. So again, do not forget this password. All right. So as you can see here, this is our host name, integration IT, and it asking me to log in for the first time login as a root and provide the password all right so seems our installation is done and now uh, let's log into the web interface and see if it is working so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab my Google Chrome Okay, so advance, proceed. Right, so this is something wrong with my uh, my resolution. So don't worry about it. It has nothing to do with installation. Admin and the password. Okay, so I'm glad our installation is done and you can see I mean they have done very they have done pretty much good work like the dashboard enhancement and the the options on the left isolating the instant messaging fax module email module and add-ons so they have nicely arranged the interface I believe uh, this is what I believe and uh, we will explore all the options in our upcoming videos so just to make sure our PBX option the main option it's working and if you click the PBX configuration and yeah it looks fine but yeah now it's okay so we have all the options available and that's it for now and in my next video I will configure some extensions and I will show you some soft fonts and see how our how our PBX works then alright thank you so much guys